welcome back to sr jobs lab and today's java interview question is can a static method be called using instance variable and what if that instance variable is null then will it throw null pointer exception so basically uh, this question has two part so let's understand the first part uh, what is the answer of the first part and for that uh, let's uh, create an example uh, as we always do so let's get back to our code editor so first thing what we have to do um, we have to create a class and inside that we have to create a static method and that static method we will call from here main method okay so let's do that so let's create one class and here we are declaring a static method fun and what we will do here is simple we'll just print a message now we will create instance of this test class let's name it t and through this we will call static method right this is the question can we call any static method through instance variable so here t is the instance variable and we are calling static method right now let's execute this So here you can see um, you can see that uh, output message as an static method of test class. So definitely answer is yes. We can call any static method to instance variable. And now let's understand what is happening inside. So what compiler does is at compile time, uh, as soon as compiler will look into this uh, function, right? So compiler knows that this function is a static function. Why? Just because of as soon as this class will get loaded, this class so what the first thing of uh, first will execute is a static um, method or a static variables right and just because of that um, compiler will have a pretty much clear understanding of um, a static method at the compile time so what then compiler will do that compiler knows that okay this uh, method fun is a static type method so it will convert this instance to instance type internally so what is the type of this instance is test type right so compiler eventually it will convert this line to this line internally and as we all know that uh, you know uh, this is the right way to call any static method right in java and because of this internal conversion uh, it will call to a uh, static method fun and it will print this output okay let's uh, look into uh, another example so for that let's create one base class and here we need to define one static method let's name it foo and then let's derive one class from base and here also um, I am creating one um, method same method foo with the same signature and now in our main method what we will do we will create one instance variable of base type let's name it obj and let me call foo here then what do you think what will print uh, over here so let's execute and see so here you can see that it, it is printing base class static method right so that means uh, here the concept of overriding is not working out why just because overriding is the runtime phenomena at the runtime uh, they will decide like which function uh, needs to be called but here as we already have discussed that you know as soon as compiler will execute this this line right so he knows the compiler will know that foo is a static type and then it will look into the instance and that instance it will convert the type of the instance so type of this instance is a base 
So at the compile time itself, it will get converted to base dot foo. And this is the reason that okay, it will call directly uh, foo a static method which is inside a base class. And now let's look into the second part of the question, uh, which says that what if instance variable will assign to null and doing that op the same operation you know calling a static method uh, through that instance variable will throw a runtime exception or not so let's do that so let's uh, do one thing let's assign our instance variable to null both instance variable and then again we will call our static method through them Sorry, this will call to foo method. Yeah. So will it throw a runtime exception? Think about it for a while. Okay, now let's execute this and we'll see the result. Okay, so now you can see that even after assigning null value to this instance variable, we can still see this the same output right and the reason behind this is still same if even after you know we have assigned our instance value to null but when we call this uh, line right so it's still this line uh, the type of the t is still the test type and the type of obj is still base type right and 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 having said that uh, this decisions is already made at the compile time so this will bind to to test dot fun and this will bind to base dot fun at compile time. So the conclusion point over here is um, uh, once we call uh, a static method through any instance variable, uh, even after that, if that instance type is assigning to any other um, value like null here or derived uh, object type, as you can see here in this uh, line number seven, even after that it will not affect uh, the execution of that uh, call right so this is a pretty much straightforward um, once we'll get to know that what is the type of that instance then that static matter which belongs to that class type will get called so that's all for today i hope that you like this java interview question uh, answer and please uh, uh, give a suggestion uh, which interview questions you want us to cover in our next video and please uh, subscribe our channel if you have not done it so far. Goodbye and see you in the next video.